back to our applique and thread art quilt project. Today, we're going to put some finishing touches on the quilt with fabric paint to perfect the color balances and bring out some subtle details. Since the last video, I took time to wash the quilt, block it and trim it, and put on a simple binding. I didn't do anything special with the binding, just a simple black cotton binding to match the border color. I've got my tea and I've got my tools. So let's get started. I decided I want to add some finishing touches in the center panel with fabric paint, just to tune the color variations a bit and add a few details. So once again, I have our handy test sample out to practice getting the right look on these fabrics. It's the lighter bird I want to concentrate on, which is appliqued using this light blue fabric. It seems almost a little too light compared to the color of the thread. We need to darken it just enough to make the combination really pretty. For the pigment, I'm using these Neocolor 2 water-soluble pastels. You apply them like a crayon, but then brush over them with water and they act like watercolors. The difference is that you can heat set them and they'll stay permanent. This first color looks too purple, so I'm going to try again. Because they act like watercolor, you have to be a little careful controlling how they spread so the color doesn't bleed over the adjoining pieces of fabric. I also want a color to lighten the dark blue in a few places. Let's see what this looks like after I add the water. Okay, it looks pretty good. Finally, I picked a yellow for the beaks. And with that, I think we've found the three colors I want to work with. I'm starting with the bird's face, but I'm going to want to add a crystal for each bird's eye, so I'm staying away from painting there. Now that I have some pigment down on these areas, I'm going back with a brush and water to spread it out and blend it in. I'm not using a fancy brush, it's a fairly basic Taclon synthetic brush with kind of a straight chisel shape. Be careful not to get it on the other fabrics, but if you do, wipe it up right away while it's still wet. You also want to be careful not to use so much water that the paint soaks through to the back. If you need to, you can also add a little more pigment while it's still wet. This will give us a layered look to the color with some subtle variations we couldn't get from the fabric alone. Now that the paint is fully dry and heat set, I've placed some crystals on for the bird's eyes 
and some beads on the center of the large flowers. These are hot fix crystals, so I push on it with the special iron for about 25 to 30 seconds and it's set in place. Then I repeat the process with the beads. I use a big mug to put the hot iron down just for safety. I find it works really well. And with that, we're finished. I hope you've enjoyed this art quilt project. If you're just joining us, there are links to the rest of the series below. If you want to follow the same pattern I created for this project, I've made that pattern, materials list, and illustrated instructions available on my website for a nominal fee. It has some extras like SVG files to cut the appliques with a digital cutter, patterns for marking the thread painting, and other things to make it as easy as possible to complete. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're enjoying this project, I'd be grateful if you can hit the like button too. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. If you're wondering what's next, I'm going back to the subject I first launched my channel with, Wool Applique by Machine. I'll demonstrate a new project, and this time we'll use a digital cutter to see how that can add to the design possibilities. Until next time, have fun in your studios!